So, welcome to another game. And this one kind of slipped under my radar, apparently. Even though they announced it during E3, I wasn't expecting it to come out this soon. I expected it to be like around August or so. But I decided to pick it up and... Boy, hopefully this game doesn't make me cry. And I can just sell by the music, but I have played just a little bit just to get the feel of it. Sort of like a point and click kind of an event. Adventure type of game. And so far it seems pretty. Uh, I'm enjoying the art style. And it has a lot of history to it, I guess. Because uh, you can click Y and it gives you to the wiki and whatnot. But, anyways, too much of me rambling. Let's start a new game so you can guys enjoy this. I probably won't be talking too much because uh, we have to be immersive into the game, I guess. But other than that, let's do this. Yes, yes, I already know. It's gonna erase my previous progress. Freely inspired by the events unfold on the Western Front between 1914 August and 18. 1st, 1914. After the assassination of Prince Franz Ferdinand of the Austro-Hungarian Empire, the German Empire declares war on Russia. Because of established alliances, Franz is preparing for conflict. A few hours after the announcement of the general mobilization, German civilians living in France are asked to leave the country. Karl is one of them. A few days after Carl was deported, the war was hungry for more and took away a meal as well. A heavy-hearted Emil was called up to fight and left the farm for Samuel. Like so many others, he had no idea what fate had in store for him. As you can see, we're playing the game already. I don't know what the hell that guy's problem is. But see right there, I click Y. Gives me like a wiki kind of thing. Gives me a lot of history in this. Did I did not know about World War One, I, I guess. Or known as the Great War. It's kinda of funny that's what they call it. The Great War, the very first. Yes, yes, I already know. You want me to sound the horn? He's gonna take his gun out for some reason, and he does it a lot. Basically, this is basic training, you know, just jump over shit, click hex, figure shit out. Not too hard. Except for... Sometimes I tend not to throw it. So I just do this. See, he takes his gun out for no reason. Oh, I didn't. Uh, I was gonna say, oh look, I actually found an item. This part kind of screwed me up a little bit. Because you have to throw it low, not high. I like another item, but I think I already got it. 
if I already need. Right, then I guess I'm the new recruit. Got a fresh nice little anthem, huh? Come on, raise the flag now. for help. They've always been gracious and charitable people. I'll write again as soon as I get my assignment. Please kiss my little grandson for me. At the train depot in Paris, trying to reach his regiment at Platform 21, Emile would meet the man he would soon fight alongside. The man who would come to be his truest friend. Like I said earlier in the beginning of the video, if you guys watched it or listen, since it's kind of like a point and click adventure, you have to figure out certain things. Like that's one little piece. The next piece is over here. You get this, and you give it to him. Because apparently he wants wine and. Yeah. I'm not sure if that's being a stereotype or what, but it kind of it seems like it sometimes. Okay, hit that thing, gives you this. A whistle. I don't know what these do, but I think they're just collectibles. Alright. This part took me like a few tries, but it's really simple once you get the thing. You have to kind of get a... Uh, a groove going. I like that. See, I already fucked up. See, he starts dancing. Bring that guy in. And bam. I'll dance too. Nah, I'm out of here. Time to save my little friend over here. He's actually an American who was stationed in France. Or he helped France or something like that. Okay, I think I got the story a little bit backwards, but... I don't know, it feels like this is a super stereotype scene right here, you know. French people eating their wine and their breadstick. Or, I don't really know what they're called, honestly. And cheese. I'm not sure if that's being stereotyping or just... Or what? Uh, the little voice acting is kind of funny. August 21st, 1914. Emil's regiment was sent to fight against the 71st German Division, led by Baron von Dorf. The general cheer of the first hours dissipated into the fear of first combat. Alright. This part I kind of died a few times, but hopefully I don't die this time. And yeah, it's in real time. They actually shoot that shit at me. And you have to kind of ignore them. Oh crap. Sometimes you can't tell if they're going to be right in front of you or behind you. So I'm kind of like backing off. Can't see shit right now. So many body parts. Oh crap! Better move forward. Move that back. Okay, there we go. Ooh, ooh, that was close actually.
Miss Marie Chayon, Private Emile Chayon from the 150th Infantry Regiment was wounded by enemy fire on August 21st. He has been captured by the enemy. Hopefully, you shall receive news from him soon. Freddy, originally from America, enlisted voluntarily in the French forces at the start of the war. Behind his bravery, hid a man already devastated by the war's effects. A man with one sole obsession, punish those who had destroyed his life. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy finally picked up the trail of the regiment commanded by Baron von Hoff. Basically, he's, he has a little fun. I like, I like his mission a little bit more. But, I don't know. I haven't really got too far into the game, just a little bit of, like, here and there. So I'm kind of, like, blasting through these pretty quick. Oop, too far. There we go. Now we wait. Oh. Crap. Ah, uh, I knew it. I was going for that item. It was at the Battle of the Marne that Freddy fought. I didn't mean to get myself killed. But did I get the item? I think I did, but probably not. That's what I did for looking at the floor instantly. I was like, oh look, an item. As soon as I threw that grenade. What was I thinking? Come on, bow cutters. Here we go. Oh, good. I can actually keep it then. 